The Troy football team started off the 2016 season Friday night at Troy Memorial Stadium against Trotwood Madison, a team it upset 21-20 one year ago. Troy went into the game looking to prove that last year's win was no fluke. Troy's offense started off slowly, however, as all it could muster in the first half was this 21-yard field goal by Jake Anderson. Troy went into halftime trailing 6-3. At halftime, lightning began to fill the sky, forcing the game to be postponed until Saturday morning. That's when Troy was able to come back and pull out the 10-6 victory. feels great. It feels great. Like I just told the kids, you know, there, there, there's reasons why we do stuff in December. There's reasons why we do stuff January, February, March, April. It's for days like today and last night. This is, you know, these kids, our kids earned it. I, I couldn't be more happier and pleased with their effort and just, just everything. And, and they see, they see what, you know, working hard, what it does. You know, you've got to prepare like a champion if you want to be one. And our kids are buying into that. Defense would prove to be key for the Trojans in the game, particularly in the second half. Troy held the Rams' usually high-powered offense scoreless in the second half, while holding star running back Ravion Hargrove, who rushed for 3,000 yards last season, to just 75 yards for the game. One of the stars of the game was defensive back Jake Anderson, who had an interception in the first half and a key pass breakup late in the game. Uh, defense, that was the biggest game I've ever been in. Uh, and the defense really stepped up. We, we, we've been prepping this for months. Like Ever since camp started, we've been looking at this game, and we knew that we had to stop number six. And he had, no, he had less than 100 yards, I know. He had that one touchdown on a blown play, but you know they had nothing the entire game. The D-line really suffocated them, and the, and, the deep, and the defensive backs just stopped them every single time they tried to do something. Late in the third quarter, Troy would finally get the offense it needed as quarterback Hayden Kotwick has scored a touchdown from 21 yards out on a quarterback keeper. I mean, I give I give Charlotte uh, props. Their, their defense line was fast and their DBs could cover. But we just stuck to the run game. Our line blocked their, their butts off tonight. And we just played together as a unit and took home this win. The Rams would make a, a charge late in the game. But with the ball at the Trojan 25, Trojan defensive tackle Logan Hubbard got pressure on Trotwood's quarterback, forcing an interception by linebacker Will Brown. Yeah, I mean, it's just a beautiful thing when a guy doesn't have time to throw, and it just flutters like it's dropped from God. I mean, it was nothing easier than that. I give it 100% to the D-line. I just haven't been in the right place at the right time. Brumfield's interception would seal the game for the Trojans, who improved to 1-0 with the win. Troy hosts Cincinnati Northwest this coming Friday night at Troy Memorial Stadium.